Hey, it is Lisa Led, and today I am going to be teaching you about Beyblade Burst. So this is a series that I've been wanting to do, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to play Beyblade Burst if you want to get into it and all that. So this is the first lesson, and lesson one is the Beyblade Burst Types. So, as you can see here, we got the uh, types charts. So, Beyblade Burst types. We have attack. Where's, okay, there it is. Attack. Defense. Stamina. And balance. So, which one would be considered the best? Well, they all have their goods and their bads, but none can actually be considered the best. It just depends which one you're the best with. So you could just test these out. Like, find yourself a attack type, defense type, or one that just seems that you want to use a lot. Anyways, let's move on to the types and what they do. So, the attack types... The attack types are Beyblades that try to hit the opponent as much as possible and try to burst or send it flying out of the stadium. Most of them are really fast to try and get a lot of attacks in, but some are heavy, like Rage Longinus, for example, and try to knock the opponents out with its uh, weight. But most of them go with a even balance. Most bladers use a balance of a heavy-weighted Beyblade with a quick attack. And their main weakness is defense types because most of them, most of the defense types can parry all of the attack types. But if the attack types are more powerful than the defense of the defensive Beyblade, then it will go to the attack types. But in most cases, defenses win. Okay. Okay, next. We have defense type Beyblades. So defense types are Beyblades that are circling the middle of the stadium, don't really move around as much as the attack types, but are always ready to take an attack. Most defense types try to use their stamina as an, as an advantage towards attack types because most attack types have very low stamina. And their goal is to drain the attack type's stamina so it can <sighs> win the battle with a survivor finish or if the defense is way stronger, the defense can make a counterattack and send the attack type flying. So yeah. And the most weakness of a defense type is stamina type because defense types of course rely mostly on defense and they don't have a lot of attack power or a lot of stamina. They just have enough to outlast the attack types. Okay next we have Stamina type Beyblades. Stamina types are Beyblades that are usually found in the middle of the stadium and have a roundish shape so it can spin longer and attack type Beyblades can't really damage it. Their main goal is to uh, stall out opponents so they mostly win by survivor finishes. Instead of knocking them out or bursting. And its main weakness is attack types because most stamina types, Ragnarok for example, has very weak teeth. That's their, uh, that's what they get rid of for their stamina instead of attack and defense. So yep. Yeah. And then last but not least, we have the Balance-type Beyblades. 
So balance types are Beyblades that don't really have a certain way that they move or have a certain way that they battle. It mostly depends on what the balance type is. For example, a balance type could be an attack and defense type, a stamina and attack, attack and stamina, or all three of them at once. So balance types don't really have their own thing, but that does not mean they're invincible. They just don't have too good of weaknesses or too good of strength, so it's like a middle ground to where if you want to take a chance, you could try balance types. So it's like half and half of good and bad. Or you could have all three and have a third of a chance for each one. And a good, good example of that is Union Achilles with the Extend Plus driver. So yeah. And guys, that is going to conclude this Beyblade episode. Bay, the first episode of Beyblade Lessons. So if you like this, tell me in the comments below. And I will be making more of this. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!